In 2007, astronomers discovered a puzzling phenomenon. Data recorded several years earlier by the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia showed a fleeting but powerful burst of radio emission coming from an unidentified source in space. In the decades since then, scientists have spotted two dozen of these split-second blasts, known as FRBs, fast radio bursts. And while they've determined that the bursts come from far beyond our own galaxy, the source of these powerful emissions remains a mystery. It's not often that scientists get to discover and study a brand new phenomenon, a, a, a fresh new puzzle to tackle. And we really don't know what fast radio bursts are. We know they're coming from far outside the Milky Way galaxy, and some people hypothesize they're coming from neutron stars, but we really don't know that. Uh, it's currently an open mystery. Conventional radio telescopes can only see a tiny portion of the sky at any one time, and so they have to just, by luck, happen to catch one when it goes off. We think they're going off something like a thousand times across the whole sky each day, but you never know in what direction, and so you need a telescope that can see a very large area of the sky to really be able to study the phenomenon. Astronomers are about to get just such a telescope, thanks to a collaboration among 50 scientists from the University of British Columbia, University of Toronto, McGill University, and the National Research Council of Canada. This new and revolutionary radio telescope just completed in Penticton, British Columbia, is called CHIME. CHIME is made up of four 100-meter half-pipes. These half-pipes focus radio waves to 256 antenna running down the center of the pipe. But unlike traditional radio telescopes with steerable dishes, CHIME doesn't move. Instead of focusing on a point in the sky, it gathers radio signals along a line in the sky, running from north to south. CHIME was originally designed to explore the history of the universe and help us understand dark energy. It turned out to be an ideal design to discover fast radio bursts as well. So we'll be able to use the telescope for both targets simultaneously. With CHIME, we'll see a huge area of the sky at once, something like a thousand times greater than conventional telescopes. Not only that, since the Earth rotates, each night we'll see the entire northern sky. This should allow us to detect between a few and a few dozen fast radio bursts per night. CHIME will be gathering a huge amount of data, as much as all the data flowing in the world's mobile networks. And because this is too much data to store, it must be processed as it's gathered. CHIME researchers have designed custom processors and developed innovative software that allows the CHIME supercomputer brain to sift through the raw data looking for radio wave spikes. Part of the challenge is that radio pulses get stretched as they travel through space as this visual simulation of a radio pulse shows. As a result, pulses that lasted only a thousandth of a second at their source are spread over many seconds by the time they reach Earth. This makes detection even more difficult. We are interested in, in this 15 minutes because we know a known source is going up. You already know, yesterday I found 15 pulses. Members of the research team are working on software to reconstruct the signal's original spike shape enabling CHIME to detect radio bursts from distant reaches of the universe. We'll be you know, looking at the whole sky visible to CHIME at any time, hunting for these short signals. For the very brightest ones, though, we are going to be able to record a small snippet of data right around the pulse, and we're going to be able to then dig into it on really short timescales, and hopefully that will help us to figure out a little bit more about how these bursts are emitted at their source, whatever the sources might be. Other astronomers around the world will also help in the hunt for fast radio bursts. When CHIME detects a pulse, they will be notified within seconds and will be able to point their telescopes at the points of interest in the sky. CHIME is the first major telescope to be built in Canada in over 30 years. And experience shows that scientific knowledge is always improved by new instrumentation. So we're really looking forward to making great progress on uh, two hot scientific topics, dark energy and fast radio bursts. It's a real uh, privilege and very exciting to have the opportunity to really make progress on a new uh, and very interesting astrophysical mystery.